Wicked Wednesday Shop Talk, everybody. What I carry today at work, nice, light, and simple. I only carry this, no fixed blade, no SC Zula. I usually carry three knives at work, but not lately. I'm just going light. I'll be getting to that heavy duty stuff before my fixed blade knife soon, but right now I'm just still dealing with uh, on and off with the pool deck and the sand from the dunes. Okay, custom my car scales. Love this thing, it stays in my pocket. Uh, I did a mail call earlier, so I'll get that one right now out of the way. Uh, not out of the way, they deserve all the attention. I came across these accidentally. This is the one I got over the weekend. This is the Fleesa. And these are budget friendly. I got this one, I think it was around 20. I wanna say $23 at that. Yeah, that's a scandy grind right there. Scandy blade, green micarta. They had this in wood too, I believe. Full tang, D2 steel, very sharp. I think I did a uh, tube cutting on that. Not sure, if I have it, I will. The sheath is fantastic. I love leather sheath. So, last night, Ford browsing, what am I going to do, you know? So I go and look at the uh, Fleece of And I came up with this one. This was my mail call today. I love this thing. I might end up throwing this one. Nice leather sheath. This was 30, I want to say $33. That's right. And it's D2 steel. And it's got the fullers. They call it blood grooves. Black finish. I love the jipping right there, nice and soft. You got a choil right here. Very sharp, we'll find out. Landed hole, and check out that my card. I really love that. It's got like a, a, a green in there, like a mint green with the black. Pretty awesome. Wish I'd get my uh, camera to focus a lot better. It's all messed up from salt water, sand. I, got to, I need to do a serious cleaning. Man, this feels nice. We might have to break it in on the board. I love the treads on that. You see it? The treads on that uh, micarta. That's something I might want to experiment with. That's just a straight angle. You see that? It uh, gives it a really, really, really nice grip. Very cool knife, very budget friendly. I highly recommend the Fleece so far just based on this one. And we'll find out eventually how it comes to. Okay, I don't know where this came from. I know it's Wicked Wednesday, but I keep hearing it back here. Uh, thinking I'm going to slice some water bottles. I got bottles collecting. I got one jug, I believe. Yeah, I think I got a half gallon jug anyway. Here's another one where the jipping is not aggressive. It's just really perfect. This blade is sharp. It's nice all around. It's heavy. Uh, this is the CDS uh, Kelty Barrow. I've been saying it for three days in a row now since I got it, four days. Kelty Barrel. This is made in Spain. It's that MOV 58 steel they use. Micarta Scales. Yeah, that's wicked. We'll call that wicked. Nice satin finish. Sounds like an alarm going off behind me in the parking lot. Okay, we'll set that off the side. I gotta come up with something. Then another one I wanna show, this is a uh, one of my collector's knives. I, I brought it out here. It's safe in a bag. This is Wicked. Okay. This is one of my favorites. This is the Sog. Kiku. Large Kiku. Fixed blade knife. I wish they made these she sheets like this still. If I'm going to do Kydex, I prefer leather. If I'm going to do Kydex, I want something like that. And, uh, something. A lot of brands have a good uh, 
you know, nylon hook up to it. But I just love this option of being able to drop it down uh, even further. It's got the strap. All right, let's get the blade out. That's a Kydex sheath. This is the Sog Large Kiku. Check that out. That's wicked, folks. There's the jipping. Look at that stock and how it tapers down. Look at that blade. That is all safe steel with a satin finish. Isn't that beautiful? That's linen micarta. Natural linen micarta, natural color. And look at the, uh, my camera, I'm just having a fit with it. Look at the, uh, the, the detail, the grooves. Just makes a nice texture. There's your lantern hole. It is full tang. Absolutely beautiful knife. So I'll probably do a short on this. There's the uh, the Kik uh, Kiku Masuda. He's the knife designer, maker, world famous, one of the best out there. That's his uh, signature. Okay, he hooked up with Sog and did a lot of great work for him. A lot of great designs and he's still out there just a very humble humble man uh, Japan all right uh, that's the Kiku large sog in my collection very wicked for wicked Wednesday Okay, I think that's got it. I gotta decide what I'm gonna throw. Oh, I brought this out. This is the uh, Cold Steel uh, Drop Forge Survivalist. This is wicked. I brought this out possibly to throw. It's heavy, I've thrown it before. It's hard to believe I even throw this. Cause this is forged steel. Look, it's all one piece. It's all one piece. There it is right there. In fact, it's a, uh, the 52, they call it 52-100 uh, steel. Look how thick that is. This thing is heavy, and it's it's razor sharp. I've done bottle cutting, uh, tube cutting, paper cutting. Just tapers down to nothing. Isn't that something? Look at the back. And then it just, just a nice flat. Hefty too. That's the Cold Steel Drop Forward Survivalist. Now we got you covered. Y'all take care and sog out.